Bethune-Cookman University and former NFL star Ed Reed have decided to part ways. Ed Reed had been tapped to coach the football program, but this got ugly really quick. I have Mike Bianchi here. So, Mike, catch us up a little bit what happened and how this all unwound. Yeah, about three weeks ago, Ed Reed, pro football Hall of Famer, former Miami, of, uh, Miami Hurricane, great. He was essentially a hired to be the football coach, the new football coach at Bethune-Cookman over in Daytona Beach, uh, although they didn't sign the contract. They, they agreed in principle – to a contract, so he's going to be the new football coach. And then uh, several days ago, he's riding around campus in a golf cart on Instagram Live filming this, and he goes on a profanity-laced tirade just ripping the university's uh, facilities, their administrators, and, man, that blew up. It went viral. A few days after that, the university said, you know what? We haven't signed the contract with Ed Reed. We don't want him to be our football coach anymore. And that's where we stand. We've been around here trying to change things. And we have. And this has changed quickly. My vision for change is probably moving too fast for a lot of people. I'm not withdrawing my name as they saying. They don't want me here. They do not want me here because I tell the truth. And then after that, though, students, regular students at Bethune-Cookman University, they started protesting, saying Ed Reed is right. And it's not just the athletic facilities. It's the dorms. It's the living conditions on campus. This needs to be addressed. So, you know, say what you want about Ed Reed and how profane and angry that original video was. Uh, I got to tell you, he he brought up some points that obviously hit home with the student body at Bethune because now it is a complete mess. Yeah, it seemed like BCU had been hoping to create kind of like this Coach Prime situation at Jackson State, but it didn't seem like it went that way. But, you know, Ed Reed hadn't really coached a college football program. So at this point, you would think if he goes to another school, he's not looking great. No, and, and again, it, when you watch that video, it's not a great look for Ed Reed either. He is angry. He is bitter. He is profane in that video. But again, again, he was mad at the facilities and what they had allowed the facilities to become at Bethune-Cookman. This is a, a big issue, not just at Bethune-Cookman, but at a lot of schools that don't sign the big TV contracts and don't have millions and millions of dollars to spend on their football program. So they're sort of pinching pennies and Ed Reed, I don't know if Ed Reed didn't tour the campus before he accepted the job, but uh, he should have known this is what he was getting into. I will say that. I'm not going to play the whole who's right, who's wrong, but it seemed like as a coach, if you're coming in, you could actually change some of this stuff. Wouldn't you think you're in a point of leadership where you could say, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, but maybe not do it so publicly and so ugly right out from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when everybody compares him to Deion Sanders. When Deion Sanders took over at Jackson, uh, Jackson State, which is another historically black college and university, Deion Sanders said, yeah, we need to improve our facilities and he did it in a, a charismatic, diplomatic way and went about raising money to do that. So you're right. Yeah, Ed Reed could have handled this a lot better on his part. What now for the Wildcats? I mean, obviously the coaching search continues now. And I would guess it's going to be harder for them to find someone now. Absolutely it is because, again, they're in financial dire straits over there at Bethune-Cookman. They have an interim president who's not even the permanent president. They have the, the athletic director is Reggie Theus, former Magic basketball player, who's also the basketball coach. So they have they have guys over there doing double duties as athletic director and basketball coach. So yeah, it's going to be hard for Bethune Cookman to to find some a quality coach after this. I think.